Hi everyone! This week we are learning about transport. And do you remember what we learned this or uh, what we learned this week? We learned about car, we learned about airplane, we learned about bus, we learned about the train. And guess what are we going to learn for today? Listen to the noise. Can you guess what sound is that? What's the noise of what? One more time. Yes, this is the sound of the boat. That's right. And do you know that's a uh, we are. Uh, the boat, which transports go on the water? I'm gonna draw some water. Is this what you see? There's the water. Okay. Yes, um, the bodies go on the water. And and what else go on the water? This is called. Kino. Do you know Kino? Is similar like kayak. Do you know kayak? Is it similar like this? This car, you know. And one more thing, we call this submarine. This is boat. So have windows. Okay. <clears throat> this is an example of the transport that go on the water. And today we are going to learn about the boat. Okay. <clears throat> the boat. Uh, the boat is um, a boat is a vehicle used to travel on the water. It's similar, it's smaller than a ship. She is very big, and it can be lifted out of the water and carry on a ship. Yes, and some boats have a sails like this. <coughs> Some uh, have a power by rowing with oars, like this one, or kayak, and some use models. Yes. These boats are usually made of wood. <coughs> made of wood. Some parts are made of the metals, like steel and aluminum. There are some boats that can even go underwater and they are called submarine. Submarine. This one, they go under the water. Very amazing, isn't it? Okay. And 
today, Miss Grace has a story book to It's called Zebra Came on a Boat. Look at the boat. There are a lot of people on the boat. <clears throat> Zebra came on a boat, a soggy old fishing boat that cracked and melted as it rose and fell, rose and fell across an endless sea. Throws of throws of home wash over zebra like like the surge of the sea washing over there. She heard a laughter of children and the gentle sound of sheep grazing on the hillside. She felt the cool mountain. She felt the cool mountain air on her cheeks as she ran with her cousin down the rocky slope to collect water from the mountain stream. They laughed as they splashed each other with icy water and carried the heavy gray spots. Ah, sorry, the heavy gray pots to the warmth of the mud brick house. She brought smell the rest spices of the even meal. She helped her aunties prepare the flat bread cooked in the tender and tasted the cool, smooth texture of the girl's meal yogurt her mother made. She saw her mother sitting at the wooden loom, <coughs> wearing colors wool, wearing color wool to make a rug. Up and down went the wool, in and out, like the boat waving for the murky sea. As the boat drifted towards the night, she was so Drifted too. In her mind, she sat with her father, playing with the doll he had given her. Looks scary, isn't it? He told her story and poems of long ago. She felt she stretched up his arms and she grasped into his pitiful face. Cool wind blow across the swimming sea. Zebra remembers the cold winter nights at home. I can see the wind. Winter had lasted so much longer that year, and the child chased by the mountains to the east seemed to creep closer than ever before. The, the darkness space seeping into the quiet corners of the peaceful village. No longer able to attend school, Siba hid from the world behind the thick earth wall of her home. The sea roared and thrashed at the boat like an angry bill. The waves became frosty, and she was thought grew fearful and sad. She thought grew fearful and sad. Look at the sea. That looks scary. Gunfire 
echoed her the wilderness. Angry voices surrounded her. Catching her mother hand, Siva ran on and ran a thought, the night far away from the madness until there was only darkness and quiet. Siva's shivers and hunger closer to her mother in the crowded view. Her mother's eyes were full of hope and her lullaby sweet as honey. Siva drifted into sleep. Her dream was warm and cozy. Smiling faces welcomed her to a new land. Here she could live without fear. Here she would be free to learn and laugh and dance again. Asadi, her mother whispered, freedom. Do you think they get that? Yes, I think so. They find another land and live as a freedom. Do you like this story? Now, come and sing a song with me. We are going to sing Row, Row Your Boat. Are we ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream.